Welcome back to Nay's Beauty Room. I am back with another tutorial and this is a dupe tutorial. I had run out of foundation and I hadn't been able to put any tutorials up because I couldn't find the right, the really the perfect foundation for me that um, Black Opal and they have these matchsticks. I love these matchsticks. These are $10 a piece and I have shades Truly Topaz and I have Carob. I use Carob for my contour and this is what it looks like. And then Truly Topaz, this is what it looks like. It's like a creamy color. And I like these per se more so because they are creams. So I don't use a lot of the, um, I don't use a lot of the product at all. And then for my liquid foundation, because sometimes I do like just a liquid, um, I got the Maybelline Fit Me. And this is in shade Cappuccino. So with this and this put together, uh, it's a great combination, a great dupe for you to, you know, if you don't have any foundation or if you just want to start to learn how to put your foundation on. Um, So this is the MAC Prep and Prime Primer that I use and I'm just going to put three pumps and I'm going to put that all over my face. Then I will go in with my Cover FX Mattifying Primer which helps with oiliness and it helps with just making sure that my makeup stays on for a long time. Then I will go and grab my LA Pro Girl Concealer, which is a color corrector in the color orange. And I will blend that out with my Beauty Blender, a wet Beauty Blender. Next, I'll take my Black Opal Stick, and it's a foundation stick, and this color is in Truly Topaz. And I also my Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Foundation in the color Cappuccino. Then I will add my Cover FX Highlighting Drops to my foundation before blending. After blending out with my brush, I'll then go and take my beauty blender and further blend out all of the product together. In shade NC45 and I am going to... What I have learned over, you know, some time is that your beauty blender needs to be moist. So I always keep some rose water spray around and I always keep my beauty blender very moist because I don't like creasing. And some ways to prevent creasing is you have to go back and forth between both sides. So instead of finishing one, you just kind of, and if you see that you have too much product, just get you a towel, get a towel, and just kind of dab, dab, dab it all off until you have the desired look that you look like.
like to go in an upward motion up into my eye right here so that it stays. No, I'm mixing my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and my MAC NC45 loose powder together and I'm putting more so of my NC45 loose powder on top of it.
color. I did not, by the way, put any highlight on besides the liquid drops. Uh, I just kind of felt today I wanted to do something a little subtle, something that you can still see. But it's, you know, light. It's not very glam at all. All of the products that I use are from the drugstore. I didn't use anything that was over $15. The Sasha Buttercup you can get from Amazon. The descriptions for all of the products I use are going to be below. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. And I hope you guys learned and enjoyed something from watching this tutorial. And know that there are more tutorials to come. So just know that this is Nay's Beauty Room and I hope that you enjoyed.